This is Andrew of the St. John's Network, where we showcase all the exciting activities that take place at St. John's High School. Today, I am joined by Eric, a writer who was featured in St. John's Icon 2022. And now, I'm sure many of the people watching this don't even know what Icon is, so could you tell us about that, Eric? So the Icon is a student literary magazine that features any students who want to put their writings, uh, could be poetry, could be short stories, could be visual art or photography, and any sort of media like that that you would like to be featured um, can go into the student literary magazine published every spring. Now, what, uh, what work of yours was featured in this? So I wrote a poem called To, go, to Grow in God's Word that uh, was actually the opening prayer for my freshman religion class with Mr. Paul. And he referred me to uh, Mr. Smith to put it in the icon. I see. So would you mind reading us some of that? The poem is called To Grow in God's Word. And a uh, quick little note, it is a partial adaption of the parable of the sower. Uh, found in the go uh, Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and, and Luke. The sun rose triumphantly and marked the bright new day as the breeze danced daintily over the open field. A sower arrived, his robes fluttering playfully, and a bright white light radiated from his figure. His fist unclenched and released from its depths tiny seeds unto the wind. As they fluttered and flew round the vast stretch of land, they maintained direction towards their chosen path. And when the wind stopped short and they fell to the earth, their fate was set at last. Some seeds fell along the trodden path and were swiftly devoured by the waiting birds. They are the ones who hear God's word and Satan immediately comes to take it away. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, but with little soil and no roots, they withered and died in the scorching sun. They are the ones who hear God's word and accept it until hardship and troubles arise on its account. Some seeds fell among the thick brambles to be choked away at their first signs of grain. They are the ones who hear God's word, but resent it for the desire of earthly riches and pleasures forbidden. Other seeds fell though upon rich soil and grew tall and plentiful, yielding great quantities of grain. They are the ones who hear God's word and accept it fully into their hearts, glorifying the power of the kingdom of God. Ready our hearts, O Lord, and cultivate our bodies to be fields of your fruit for we cannot do your will without your word growing within us. Through your saving grace and the passion of your beloved Son, we will bring the kingdom of heaven to earth and redeem eternal life. Amen. Very good. So that was the poem that I gave to Mr. Smith. And like many other students at St. John's, um, he published it in the icon and created this uh, 100 or so page literary magazine. Now what inspired you to do this? Uh, often during my prayerful meditation and sometimes during biblical reading, I am inspired to write reflections on the Bible or uh, put into words my prayerful meditations and reflections. And that is often the inspiration for my writing. Now, if someone um, watching this wanted to get into ICON, how would they be able to do that? So Mr. Smith is a English teacher and he runs the ICON. And so if you have any sort of writing, poetry, short story, photography, uh, visual art, uh, talk to Mr. Smith, email your work to him, and express your uh, desire to be featured in the icon, and it will be likely that he will do so. Hi guys, thank you for watching, and if you are a writer, poet, or an artist, and are interested in having your work featured in icon, go talk to Mr. Smith. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe if you are interested in hearing more about our life here at St. John.